Hi guys, uh, I made it to Nashville. It is now Thursday night at like 11.15 p.m. I had an 8 p.m. flight from Austin. Had to get my rental car and drive down here to Franklin. And now I'm here, I'm in my hotel room. <laughs> Glamour. Um, maybe I'll show you the crafty stuff I bought, I brought with me. Um, I did everything carry on which honestly I might regret depending on how many things I try to buy at market, but I really wanted to just do carry on so I could only bring a couple of projects with me, but I'm going to be working at market with Liz like all day. So I don't need that much to craft on. So anyways, I just want to say hi, I'm here and I cannot wait for tomorrow and I will try to take you along with me this whole weekend and show you what market's like. Uh, so yeah. Let's have fun. Okay, let's see what I packed. <laughs> Okay, I brought my floral motif sampler by Scarlet House because I've just been really wanting to get back to this one recently and I haven't worked on it in a little while. And then I brought my Love Boats, which is so close to a finish. I showed this in my last floss tube episode. I just have to do the fill-in. see. If there's a pair of scissors somewhere. Yeah, they're there. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So there it is. I just have to finish the fill-in and I thought I can do some fill-in while I'm here. So those are the two cross-stitch projects. And then I brought, let's see, a new sock project. So socks are like my favorite travel knitting and um, these are so cute. These colors are really kind of washed out in this bad nighttime lighting, but you get the idea. So fun. Um, there's the yarn and my favorite little sock bag. So yeah, okay, I've got um, TV, Taco Bell, I gotta unpack <laughs> and probably stop swinging the camera around. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of knitting and then I'm gonna get to bed because it's already midnight. So yeah, I cannot wait for market tomorrow. I will see you guys there. Hello, good morning. Um, day one of market. It does not start until the afternoon today. So right now I am gonna go get a couple of iced coffees for me and Liz and go say hi, cause I haven't seen her since I got here cause I got here late last night. Um, and then I'm gonna go do a little yarn shopping and possibly meet up with some people for lunch. And then this late afternoon, like 4 p.m. ish, I think. Um, market will kick off. So just getting ready for the day. Gonna fix this, fix this. And oh, it looks cold and kind of rainy out there. So I gotta bundle up. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get ready. Um, fit check, <laughs> outfit of the day. Uh, if you were following along with me on Instagram, I was really trying to get the sweater done to wear to Nashville because it's cold here today. So I did it. I'm so excited. Um, none of the ends are woven in. <laughs> like, let me see if I can... Uh, I don't know if I can, I don't know where all the ends are, but the ends are not woven in um, and it has not been blocked, but I just really wanted to wear it. So yay, this is my new sweater. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna go start my day. <laughs> okay, I got the coffee delivered and now I'm on my way to do some yarn shopping. Can't wait, in my new sweater. <laughs> Okay, hi, uh, yarns acquired. Let's do a little car show and tell. Um, I'm in Bliss Yarns in Brentwood, Tennessee. 
Uh, this is the only place I have for the phone, so sorry about the steering wheel. Also, I just ran into Shelly from Antique Needleworkers and Carrie from Tiger Lily inside Bliss Yarns. The needleworkers are in Nashville. <laughs> um, okay, first thing, I got my very first skein of self-striping yarn. I have never done a pair of self-striping socks, so I found this, which is must stash yarn which I'm pretty sure is actually kind of local to me from San Antonio and I got the perfect must match set in the color Big Bend. Um, obsessed. So I got that sock skein and then they had ruby and roses. Oh my gosh how cute is this? I just love a colorful neon sock. So this is the plump rose sock base and I got Sail Away and Material Girl. I mean, oh, gorgeous. And then I got one other skein. I did all carry on on this trip. I probably mentioned that. And so I'm like, I can't shop too much, honestly. Otherwise, I'm going to have to like mail a bunch of stuff home. Um, but whatever. <laughs> I got three skeins of yarn. This is Big Sky Yarn Company and it is their Squish DK. And the color is Glow Party. I have no idea what this is going to be. I just seem to love collecting random skeins of DK. So this got collected. <laughs> okay, now I, what am I doing? I'm going to go to lunch with Bridget and Cam. So yeah, okay. <laughs> Talk to you guys later. What a lovely day. Uh, <laughs> if you can't tell, it is currently raining out here. I just went and had lunch with Bridget and Cam, which was amazing, and completely forgot to film anything or take any photos. Just have my leftovers. I'm going back into the hotel, and then it's time for market. <laughs> I'll do a better room tour later. <laughs> guys uh welcome to market it is um i don't know about 30 minutes till everything kicks off so i just got here to liz's room there's already lines all over here for the fabric dyers because that always sells out first but yeah it's all about to kick off and um there's a couple of fun people over here in liz's room let's see if they'll let me put them on camera hi ladies i'm just filming <gasps> There's Bridget and Cam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wanting to show everyone around Market. Um, well, you're so you're actually doing like a good floss tuber and really content. I'm trying. Done any of I'm trying. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hello, good morning from day two at Nashville Needlework Market. It is Saturday morning. Uh, it's about 8.30 a.m. Everything kicks off at 9 a.m. I just did a little Dunkin' iced coffee run for me and Liz, and I'm really excited to get this day started. I feel like I did not film that much yesterday. <laughs> I can't remember. I'll have to look at the footage later. Uh, but it was a whirlwind. It's just four hours on Friday. So it's very like kind of jam packed. And it was super fun. Got to see a lot of people I'd met last year, meet a lot of new people. And um, yeah, I can't wait to like maybe hopefully get around to a few more rooms and see a few people today. Um, we'll just see how busy it is. And I... We'll try to remember to bring out my phone and start filming some more today. But yeah, I'm gonna go deliver some coffee and get this day started. <laughs> I'm gonna do a midday check-in guys. Hello, look who's in our room. Harry, <laughs> Shelly. Liz, Bridgen, um, I'm trying to do vlog content for market and this is the first clip I've, I think I filmed today. So oh, fantastic. it's the floss tuber reunion in here. <laughs> Spotted in the wild is Stephanie Schaffner doing her job at market. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Two, three, three. three. It's Sunday of market and we just opened the doors, so. <laughs> okay, so I just told Liz and Bridgen to go get some shopping done. It's Sunday morning and it's very slow right now. Um, I've already done a little bit of shopping, so I thought maybe I would try and do a little bit of a haul while we, ha while, um, we have this room empty. So let's see. <laughs> okay, I have to like watch the room for Liz. So if anyone walks in, um, we might have an abrupt end. <laughs> I'm just filming a haul. <laughs> you do? Nice. I'm sorry, I stood in this. I told Liz I'd watch the room, but instead I'm just filming myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, please. I just stood in your video. Shut up. No, that's fine. Oh my gosh, is this a good idea? Okay. I've already hit a few things that were on my must buy list. I got pedal pusher rascals. So cute. Um, I got the pollinators garden from October house. Thank you, Robin. I love it. And oh my gosh, I think 
this is what I'm most excited to start maybe, is The 12 Days of Christmas by Annie Bees. Um, I took some video of her room, her setup. She did like a little fake mantle with a TV uh, and all the stockings hanging that was adorable. So had to get that. And then my lovely friend Lori, who has Thread Milk Designs, gave me all of her new releases. Uh, let me show you. Okay, so she has this new adorable spring design with the bunny and the carrots. And then she has these matching little floss drops that have little bunnies and spring designs all over them. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Okay, and this is, I think, my favorite one of her new samplers. It's a little teeny tiny sampler. It's a reproduction. And if you look at the alphabet, you'll see that it's in completely random order. And she was telling me that she thinks it's a, like the girl did all of the similar shaped letters together instead of like doing it in alphabetical order. Um, I don't know. It's so random, but so cool, right? <laughs> Uh, and then this is the rose coverlet. <laughs> I'm just filming a haul. <laughs> Liz caught me um, not manning the shop very well. <laughs> um, Lori also has this beautiful Mary Fielding new sampler. Oh, so gorgeous. Um, oh, this one, look at the ship. Elizabeth Garbutt. Beautiful. And the sesquicentennial alphabet in blue. The bicentennial Sarah Burley gorgeous and then she this isn't a new one but she had this really cute little valentine trio that i just had to get so cute so anyways that is the haul for now i should put my stuff away and you know man the booth but <laughs> liz brought her whole filming setup and hadn't used it yet and i was like i'll use it to film a haul so that is my report for sunday morning I'll try and check in later, bye. <laughs> okay, uh, we're back, it's Sunday afternoon. I don't know who this is, but um, she's in the channel now too. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to show a few things cause I'm gonna have to have Liz ship a few things to me um, and I wanna have all my haul in this video. So this is the Cross Stitch Buddy Ultimate which is a new product by Holly from Stitchy Pros. And I think her husband actually like developed this to have it manufactured. And it's a like, okay, it's a thread winder, like a floss winder. Um, so you can cut down your DMC to the right length. And then it has like a corner gauge and a fabric. <laughs> I have an audience for this. <laughs> I'm about to go get on a plane and I wanted to film my haul and I've got a <laughs> there's people watching come be in it I come sit in it not. guys help me show my haul Hi. <laughs> wait <laughs> Cam, Bridget. okay um the cross stitch buddy coming to a local needlework store near you <laughs> like, um, get out one sentence please? I <laughs> Okay, so basically it has finishing formulas. It'll tell you how big your fabric should be, um, what needle size you need to use for your fabric, all the excellent things. And they're wholesaling these to cross stitch stores. So love that. I also got this beautiful kit from New York Dreamer with all of the supplies. How cute is that? And the box to finish it on. Okay, I think I showed you everything else, so. We're gonna wrap up this little segment. <laughs> hello, hello, I made it home. It is late Sunday night. Um, I got home around 8.30 p.m., 9 p.m. And yeah. 
market is done and it was absolutely wonderful and I <laughs> I filmed some chaotic clips earlier today with me trying to show haul and yeah we were all just so tired and um <laughs> I don't even know I can't wait to edit all this together but I have a few other things that I didn't show you in that earlier haul because I either got them after I filmed those clips or I forgot about them and so I thought I would come back wrap this video up and show you the last little bits of things that I brought home. Uh, I did have to leave some of my stuff there with Liz to have her ship back to me because some of it was a little bit too big to fit into my suitcase. Um, that's okay. But uh, let me show you what I actually have and brought home that I haven't already shown you um, earlier. Okay, so when I went into Artith Design, uh, Amanda May, and made her take a silly picture of me with my sampler, um, I was looking at her new designs, and she very kindly gifted me this chart, which I think is in the pile of stuff I left for Liz to send me. Um, and then I also managed to go down to Forbidden Fiber Company and pick up the floss pack. Oops. Oh, gosh, I just untied this little... <laughs> whatever. It is late and <laughs> I need to go to bed. Um, I picked up this beautiful floss pack for this new design um, from For Forbidden Fiber Co. and um, got to meet Leanne. She is so lovely and she very kindly gifted me. So if you don't know, Forbidden Fiber, um, they hand dye floss cross-stitch fabric and they also hand dye yarn and knowing how much I've been loving knitting lately Leanne very kindly gifted me a skein of her gluttony sock in the color Aries and look how pretty that is oh I love this um so this will definitely get turned into a pair of socks very soon <laughs> um okay I also was obsessed with some of Shakespeare's peddlers Shakespeare's Peddler's New Designs, Kitten Stitcher. Um, so I picked up Pretty in Pink and I got Home Sweet Home. Oh, I'm so obsessed. I love this. This might be the, oh, I might start this like right now. Ooh, it all, it's just DMC. Ooh, it's not even Fancy Floss. Hmm. Or is it? Threads are by sampler threads, blah, 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 DMC. Huh, it looks like, okay, it looks like it does give you some fancy floss, some DMC, or a full DMC conversion. So I could totally start this one, like, right now, and I might. Um, okay. <laughs> I also went into the Valdani Threads room and um, the owner of Valdani very kindly gifted me a skein of the Pearl Cotton. I think it's Pearl Cotton. Now I'm forgetting. It's the number 12. Um, I believe this is called Pearl Cotton, but they were showing me. So Jean, who was there helping Valdani, she had emailed me. Um, Anyway, so I was going in to say hi to Jean. Hi, Jean. And uh, she was showing me some of the models that she had stitched with this particular number 12 thread, um, one strand of it on 28 and 32 count, which sounded really intriguing to me to be able to do like one strand coverage on like a higher count fabric. So I got a classic red shade to maybe do like a little red sampler to test this out. Um, so thank you very much to Valdani for this thread. Um, I also went into heart and hand and I got two charts. So I showed you guys in my market kind of preview that I really wanted to buy the new floral etchings too. So I went and grabbed that from heart and hand. Um, and then I also wanted to get one of her frills and the frills are little charts that are like additions to the tiny towns and you can add it onto your tiny town or it can just be like a little extra. And so I got the seaside frill, the little beachy one. And um, I got it for a very specific reason. This is not something I got at market, but it's something I got the day before I left for market and I wanted to show it. Um, so 
Kathy, who is Carolina Cross Stitcher, and her husband Pete own um, Pete's B Skeps, and they do these beautiful handmade and wooden sewing cross stitch accessories. And I finished my Tiny Town series um, on kind of like a removable spool finish, and I've showed you guys that in my video before. I'll uh, link it in the description box if you want to see how I how I do that tutorial. Um, and I was originally inspired by Kathy. Kathy finished her tiny town on one of her husband's beautiful spools. So I bought one, did the same thing. Well, she sent me a lovely, lovely spool. And then she also sent me a small one hole, like one scissor holder spool. And she said it's going to fit a frill perfectly as a little wrap around on this little spool. And so I just have to make it. Um, so I got this cute little summery one and I want to stitch it up and put it on this little spool because I just think that's adorable. So big thank you to Kathy and Pete and I will link Pete's B Skeps um, in the description box. They have beautiful wooden cross stitch pieces. So this is a scissor holder as well. So you have five scissors. I've shown this before in other videos, but I love these. And they're just beautifully, beautifully made. There's our little logo. <laughs> um, okay, so that's what I got from Heart and Hand. And then my friend Liz very kindly gifted me all of her new releases. And Kathy, Kathy Barrick, her mom, also gifted me any of the charts I wanted from her room. So... I'll start with Kathy's. I got the animals at home on the farm in the wild, which is one of Kathy Barrick's new releases. I just absolutely love this. I think it's so cool. Um, I really wanted that spiral one that I showed you guys in my re uh, in my preview video, but that was also on everybody else's wish list, and that one sold out before the end of the weekend. So I'll have to get that one later. Um, and then Liz's beautiful new releases, A Buzz at Midnight, which Bridgen, the museum stitcher, she model stitched this for Liz. And then we have Cottontail, the beautiful spring bunny, and you can do it in either color. Um, this, you can't even tell how tiny it is in person, but Kia B model stitched this on 56 count, and it is perfection in person. Everybody was like ooing and aahing over this little pillow in Liz's room. Um, then she has this gorgeous little sampler and tree called Remember Me. So pretty. Um, the big smash hit, Spring House. So, so gorgeous in person. And then her latest, Tenth Day of Christmas with Santa leaping over all the houses, delivering his goodies. <laughs> and you've got the love, this really sweet little heart one. So that's all the stuff I brought home from Market. Um, I think I just wanna wrap this video up by saying a big thank you to my friend Liz for allowing me to come help her out at Market. It is work. You know, I'm working when I'm there to help her, but it's also just a joy to be there and socialize with tons of awesome people in the cross stitch community, get to see all the new releases like in person, seeing the models is amazing. Um, I definitely did not film in enough rooms. Everything was a bit chaotic and busier than it was last year, I feel like. I don't know how um, the vendors feel about that. I just felt like it was harder. Like I didn't want to bug people and get in there and, you know, when they had customers and things. So um, apologies if there wasn't quite enough actual market content, but it was busy. <laughs> but I had a great time and fingers crossed I'll be back there again next year. So thank you guys all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.